Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Fiddlin' Johnny. This is my Fiddle Channel and Magic Product Review. And before I do any Magic Product Review, I do a quick fiddle tune. And I picked this tune today specifically for this release. It's a book review today. I really found uh, this book release touching and full of uh, an authentic approach to magic. So, that's why I picked this song. And you know, we'll talk about what we're reviewing here in a second. There we go. That song goes by a couple of different names. I know it by uh, Oshenandoah. At any rate, I picked that tune because I just think it's such a heartfelt tune. And I think it matches what I'm reviewing today really well, which is authentic fabrications, smoke, mirrors, and truth. And this is written by Franklin Williams. This was such a joy to review. I think you may be interested in this book, so stick around and we'll get right into this review. All right, everyone, let's talk about authentic fabrications uh, and smoke, mirrors, and truth by Franklin Williams. And it is 17 pieces of magical theater along with 14 different essays. All right. I don't know that I always love doing book reviews because I'm a little more clunky on uh, book reviews. I don't think I do a great job on them. So bear with me a little bit on this one. I typically, when I do a book review, I'm so type A and meticulous. I like to go through every single routine that's in the book. Let's say it's all card magic. Like I'm gonna go through as many of those card routines as I possibly can, try to learn them, learn what's like easy to do, intermediate, maybe a little bit hard, and talk about those sorts of things. It just takes a long time. Uh, and of course, I like to get these reviews up at least one every single week. And that can be a little bit more challenging with the book. Uh, I've had this book for well, probably a month or more now, and I keep coming back to it. Um, I really have enjoyed reading it and reading it more than once. So um, I hope that tells you a little bit about where my starting place is on this. So let's talk about what, what exactly, what are you getting when you buy this book? Um, it is, um, it's framed with that you're getting these routines, 17 routines, and then you're getting these essays. And it kind of goes back and forth between routines, essay, essay, routine, routine, essay, etc. The routines, what they do here, the 17 routines, here's what my takeaway is, is that maybe most of the routines or effects are ones that you're very familiar with already. Many of them are just over-the-counter routines that I know watchers uh, you purchase all the time. And yet, uh, and this Franklin takes those sort of classics of magic and over-the-counter effects and elevates them to a way where he can perform them in a theater and have a really strong and powerful response from his audience. Uh, they will walk away remembering that show. And I should say that most of these are in the context of a theatrical uh, type of a setting. So not sort of your walk around type of a setting, despite that some of the effects might be things that people use and walk around. Um, so that's what he does in the um, routine section, or he calls them pieces. Some people will be disappointed with the pieces section in that if you, um, you know, one of them is like an appearing bottle and then a ring in, or a coin in bottle. <laughs> Genuine, you know, two different sort of pieces of magic combined 
uh, and then put in the context of a story. So I think almost everybody out there will probably know a method for an appearing wine bottle uh, or glass, large uh, bottle, uh, along with coin in, uh, coin in bottle type of routine. However, what Franklin does is he takes that uh, and rather than sort of like, oh, look, I can put a coin in the bottle, he has done such a wonderful job about how do you take something that's a classic of magic like that and make it your own, make it personal, and elevate so one that it really connects with your audience and it draws them in and elevates an effect that's a good effect to one that's a truly memorable type of effect. That's really what you're getting or a piece of what you're getting in this book. The downside I would say for one, some people, and they might criticize it for this, and if they are, I think they're missing the point, is that if you expect a step-by-step -step explanation of here's the method, how, here's how you employ that method, here's the subtleties of that, you're not going to get any of that. Many of the pieces that he uh, has in here uh, are not his. Um, so uh, he's not allowed to essentially tip those methods. On the upside, the nice thing he does is he provides you the resources where you can go uh, get the exact ones that he uses or where he purchased the routines or who the creator is, that sort of a thing. Uh, so that if you want to get the routine and then create your own, um, uh, sorry, the effect and get create your own routine around it, you certainly could. Um, so. But again, I think it misses the point. The point really is, is that how do you elevate any effect that you are performing? And then there's the essays. The essays really just sort of supplement, in my opinion, with sort of theoretical approaches to performing magic that reinforce how do you elevate your magic. So let's get into some of more uh, of the details in terms of uh, this. I don't know if I mentioned available on both hardcover and softcover. Get whichever one you want. Mine happens to be softcover. Love it. Um, it has 151 pages in length. It does have some pictures and illustrations in here. Uh, a lot of times pictures and illustrations really do matter in books. It doesn't in this one because we're not talking about hard slights or moves and you need to see the placement of fingers and hands and that sort of stuff or the construction of the gimmick none of that so uh pictures are unimportant even though um the drawings in here are, are totally fine i think if i was to talk about some like again a little bit more about what the content is and getting into some more of the specifics um there's sort of uh this how do you present thematic ideas in your presentations and, and just to hit on that it's very clear that franklin is going for an emotional connection with his audience um, and therefore he introduces themes uh, that are things like you're not alone um, sometimes when things in life seem broken they end up being a gift um, maybe overcoming your own fear these are all sort of universal sort of feelings that people have and so he's able to insert those um, as the main theme and accentuates it with the magic. Um, he talks about like never giving up on someone. Maybe uh, he does a piece that deals with addiction. That's a pretty serious issue. And I don't know many performers who uh, will deal with addiction uh, in a loving way in a magic performance. Um, and also uh, he talks about like, dealing with the journey of one's heart sometimes when someone's heart is broken and how you restore it so those are some of the sort of like the thematic ideas that are often universal with humans that franklin addresses uh he addresses how do you create your effects that tug at the heartstrings essentially of your audience members and provides them with a gift that was a the theme throughout the book too is that there's essentially two gifts it's a gift of time that your audience gives to you by paying attention to you as a performer. And in return, you give them a gift through your performance. Um, and oftentimes I felt like it was a gift of making people maybe think about um, how they feel in the world, maybe uh, challenges they experience and ways to 
to overcome those sorts of things or maybe new ways of looking at things. Um, those are sort of like core sort of ideas that are within this, uh, this book. All of these as well, and I'm not sure I mentioned this, are done through a theatrical presentation. So all of the routines in here are done as if you're doing a stage or theater production. But with that said, we're not talking with large illusions type of a show. It really is about small, simple props and the story that you create around those props to share a message in essence is what you're getting. So um, each one of the sections though, when he's talking about specifically like um, the routines, he'll talk about what is the ma magic effect. He's gonna talk about what's the story effect. He's gonna give you a preface. He's gonna give you some notes. He'll talk about the venue, the restrictions or things, the advantages with the venue. He'll talk about props and the setup. So that's sort of in each one of the pieces, sort of each element that he goes through. In essence, it's a really nice tight outline that provides you, I think, with a way of thinking about, do you go through these steps as you are creating a routine um, uh, for you? And that if doing so, I think will help you in your presentation. And then the other part is the essays. And I have to admit, it was the essays that were my favorite part of this book and that I've gone back and have reread again um, because I just found them enjoyable, found them thought provoking for myself and found them challenging in terms of how I could take some of the ideas from those essays and apply them in my own magic. And I have to admit that a lot of times in reading magic books, I tend to like the theory books an awful lot. Um, so, um, and that's, I think, one of the reasons that this really appealed to me. Uh, but in the essays, you know, some of the things I'll talk about is scripting. They'll talk about being yourself. We'll talk about cloning, meaning that a lot of times we're sort of, uh, at least initially, we're clones of other magicians. We might use their own scripting or patter. Uh, and he's not down on that, uh, but talks about how that evolves eventually and the steps to help you uh, create your... Uh, own performance that's unique to you brings you into the performance itself. Um, he also talked about the different types of audiences that he performs for and I thought this was interesting and it's not something I've thought about but he basically says there's three types of audiences. There's a thinking audience, there's a drinking audience, and a seeking, uh, uh, seeking answers audience. And that he has tailored essentially his presentations or pieces to those different types of audiences or understands his audience and what might appeal to them. Uh, I, th I thought that was an interesting piece in the uh, uh, overall in his essays. I would also add that at the end of each one of the essays, he has uh, a creative challenge, which is in essence a question or, or uh, a homework assignment. Like now that you have this information from this essay, take this element of it and apply it to a specific part or element of a routine uh, or trick that you might be learning. I think overall, Franklin is very good in terms of his writing style. You hear Franklin quite clearly in his voice uh, in this book. Uh, it's unique and it's clearly his. And I think that's important in this because that's a lot of what he's trying to say in this book is about bringing you your authentic self to your own presentations. When I got to the end of the book, I have to admit I was disappointed. I didn't want the book to end. Um, it, I just found it very enjoyable uh, to read. There were multiple times in, in terms of reading it, I felt myself getting beclamped a little bit and like emotional just in terms of the writing style and the effect. And for me, those are things that um, are important to me when I'm performing. Uh, in maybe more of a parlor setting for me. Um, how do I evoke strong emotional reactions from uh, my audience or try to motivate or inspire my audience? And I think this book does a nice job with that. I think when we're talking, a lot of times when I do these reviews, I talk about what is the skill level. And I don't know that that applies here, but I would say any magician is going to like this where no matter where you're at in terms of if this is the very first magic book you've purchased or you've been doing magic forever i think you're going to find something in here that you like uh, and will make you think 
uh, about your own magic and how you sort of can elevate it to a, another higher level. Um, so I think any magician is going to like this. Although those who perform probably in more parlor or stage will get very more specific types of things. But I personally wouldn't let that limit you in terms of like if you're someone who doesn't do parlor or stage um, and just let's say you do walk around, I would still uh, encourage you to read this book because I think that it is still of value because what it does is it gets you to think about what is your intention? What is the message? How do you convey that? And how do you create the story around the piece of magic that you're performing? Let's talk about the cost. I think it's incredibly affordable for a book. In the United States, it's $45 uh, in paperback and in hardback, it's $54.95. I feel like that's a very reasonable price uh, for this book. All right, that's it for me on this book. I hope the takeaway here is I really like this book. I think it's well worth the money and the purchase. If you're looking to elevate your magic to a new level that is about the story you create with your routines that allow you to be authentic and comfortable with who you are and bring yourself into the performance, not as a, hey, look at me, look at me, uh, but that it feels like you're not a clone or a copy of somebody else and then how to emotionally really pull in your audience and maybe inspire or motivate um, or get your audience to think a little bit more. Those are sort of the things that this book helps you with. And if you're interested in that type of thing, I think this book will be of value to you. Um, all right, that's it. Um, I wanna thank Franklin for sending this book to me and allowing me to review it. I really appreciate it uh, and I would purchase it even if it wasn't sent to me. Um, it's that good. I might even give it as a present to somebody. It's, it's uh, that valuable of a book. All right, if you've purchased this book, let me know. Uh, put it down in the comments and let me know what your thoughts were. Um, and also please, everyone leave a comment. I love uh, interacting with you and hearing from you. Uh, and if you have not yet liked, hit that like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It would be really appreciated. Thanks to all of you for being here. I'm Fiddlin' Johnny, and remember to keep fiddling around with your magic. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.